It's a big one. The Rode Reporter is a very, very strong microphone. The body is solid alley build, very, very strong. It has a long handle to enable you to do interviews nice and easily so you can pass the microphone back and forth, which is dead easy. And um, it has a nice strong grill at the top here. Inside, obviously, there's a bit of um, uh, protection from uh, wind noise. So you can see I'm not using um, any form of uh, wind muff on the top. I'm talking directly into the microphone and it's just not picking up too much noise from plosives and things like that because it's very resistant to that sort of thing. The Rode Reporter mic has a solid die cast alloy body. It's an omnidirectional XLR mic with a sensitivity of minus 56 dB, so a good preamp is needed in order to supply enough gain without introducing hiss. It was designed for handheld interview work and presentations in order to allow relative freedom from the issues that can arise with many end address type mics. The reporter's frequency response is tailored to the sound of the voice. So there's a nice drop off in the bass to uh, make sure you don't get too much rumble down there. And it's really geared up to the sound of, of the voice. So you're going to get good clarity in speech. And that's exactly what it's designed for. It's not so funny about where you point it, which is really handy in interviewing situations. If you're one of those people that tends to make mistakes about who you're pointing it at or where you're pointing uh, when you're talking to someone. So if, you know, if, for instance, you, you want to talk to someone and suddenly you do that, it's not such a, a big deal because it's an, it's an omnidirectional. Um, being omni, it will pick up noise from around you. But being that it's so close to you, it tends to not pick up so much sound because it's so close and you can turn your preamp down. And also your own body is shielding the back anyway. So basically, it works extremely well as, as an interview mic. And just to show you um, what this actually sounds like from the front sides back, this is the, uh, the road being spoken into directly into the front. This is the road being spoken into directly from the side. This is the road being directly sp uh, spoken into from the back. And uh, we're coming to the side and we're back round to the front again. It's kind of not fussy and uh, that actually works in its favor in an interview situation. Also, because it's an Omni, you don't get so many plosives attacking the, the top here. You don't get pop, 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 so much of that. And uh, also, um, you don't get the proximity effect that you get with cardioids. So, for instance, if I speak really closely, I can speak really quietly and closely to this. Hopefully, it's not going bassy. And uh, if I take it away and talk normally, um, that's how I would normally use it. So, to be honest, it makes a great interview mic. And it makes a really good outdoor mic because of its resistance to uh, wind noises. Hi, my name's Ian. What's your name? Okay, that's nice to know. Thank you very much. Now, supposing I make a mistake. Hi, my name's Ian and what's your name? Okay, thank you very much. Now that time I moved the microphone around and you can see it's less touchy than a cardioid would be. This is the sound of the road reporter being used outdoors and uh, because it's an omnidirectional, you, it might sound quite different to the sound of uh, the microphone indoors because we've got no uh, wall reflections and ceiling reflections going on now. So uh, we're prone to all the noises around us but because of the proximity of the mic to me, it does cut down the background noise quite well and uh, the sound is quite natural because it's geared towards the voice. Now I have got here at the moment traffic down the back here. We've got houses with guard, long garden houses and then there's a main road and there's traffic going past. Um, you may be aware of that. And also being highly wooded area, we've got a lot of birds twittering and planes going over. So this is the sound of the road reporter from the front, sound of the road reporter from the side, sound of the road reporter from the back and we're back to the front again. It works very very well outdoors in spite of being an omnidirectional microphone. This is the road reporter being used indoors in a fairly small room and so it's able to pick up a lot of reverberation being an omni but this is what you're going to get indoors in a smallish type of room. So how do you feel about buying an omni for interviews now?